Welcome to October's Diabetes Technology Report. In this video, I'll get you up to speed on what happened in the diabetes technology world over the last month. And, oh my God, a lot has happened. Abbott has announced long-awaited Freestyle Libre 2 with built-in low high alarms. Tesla Mix 2 from Tandem and Medtronic 670G have both been launched in Canada. Tidepool has teamed up with Loop to make Loop approved by FDA. This and so, 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 so much more is coming your way. Diabetes technology, artificial pancreas, implantable CGMs, insulin pens, closed loop systems. We are not waiting. Let's kick things off with Freestyle Libre 2. Abbott has received CMARC and announced second generation of its Freestyle Libre continuous glucose monitoring system at EASD. This year I happened to be at EASD in Berlin and I saw Freestyle Libre 2 in person and it's great. It looks just like Freestyle Libre 1 and there is no way to distinguish the Freestyle Libre 1 sensor from Libre 2 sensor. The only visible difference is the new reader which is now blue probably because bluetooth is blue now as always abbott has decided to create their own way of doing things so even though the system uses bluetooth you still need to scan your device to get an actual glucose value libre 2 will only be able to provide you with simple low high alarms but it will not display how low you are in order to view the actual glucose value you still need to scan the sensor just like with libre 1 it does not work like Dexcom receiver or Dexcom app where it constantly shows you your actual number on the screen. So Libre 2 new marketing slogan is Alarm, Scan, Act. Other than alarms, system works just like Freestyle Libre 1, so sensor works for 14 days, 1 hour activation window. I was told by Abbott's media spokesperson at EAC in Berlin that Freestyle Libre 2 will be fully compatible with a Libre Link app in the future, however, they did not put any time frame on it. Furthermore, we have made inquiries on how the Bluetooth technology actually works. We haven't yet heard back, but this question was referred to by Abbott staff as a very, very, very good question. What is very interesting is that Libre 2 will cost just as much as Freestyle Libre 1. Freestyle Libre 2 will be initially launched in Germany in coming weeks and rolled out across Europe in coming months. Over to some Loop news now, non-profit organization Tidepool intends to deliver Loop as a supported, FDA-regulated mobile app in the App Store. Aim of this project is to publish FDA-regulated version of Loop in the App Store, so we can all just download it and connect to with commercially available in-warranty insulin pumps and CGMs. This will basically eliminate all possible difficulties with the current Loop installation, like finding old compatible pump which is out of warranty or installing loop manually which requires some technical knowledge. This news is huge and as a loop myself I am so so excited to see where this project goes. Now this project doesn't have a name yet it's just referred to as Tide Pull Loop but I have a great name suggestion. Loop is in your name if you flip the last four letters. If you flip pull it's loop so Tide Loop is my name suggestion for this incredible project. Over to some Canadian news. Medtronic 670G and T-Slim X2 have both been approved by Health Canada. Medtronic 670G is the first commercially available insulin pump with give me more insulin when I'm high and give me less insulin when I'm low system. Medtronic is expecting to begin commercial release of 670G system in Canada in fall of 2018. Only two days later, on 12th of October 2018, Health Canada has approved T-Slim X2. I actually saw it for the first time in Berlin and I was shocked by how small it is. T-Slim X2 has been approved to be used with Dexcom G5 in Canada. So your G5 readings can be displayed on your insulin pump and secondary screen like phone or receiver simultaneously. Canadian T-Slim system doesn't yet have Basal IQ suspend before low feature. Basal IQ is likely to be added in the future as T-Slim X2 is capable of receiving software updates just like 
your iPhone. Now to some Bionic Pancreas news. Beta Bionics has received financial grant from NIDDK, which is part of the US National Institutes of Health. Grant will be provided in funding over 24 months, up to $2 million. This financial support will support research and development of ILED Bionic Pancreas System, which uses two infusion sets, one for insulin delivery and one for glucagon deliverer. This device will automatically control blood glucose levels just like human pancreas. Over to some US Medicare news, as previously speculated by some leaky reps, 14-day Freestyle Libre system and Dexcom G6 are now both available on Medicare. 14-day Freestyle Libre coverage is in place immediately, so you can switch right now and Dexcom G6 Medicare users will receive the first Dexcom G6 shipment in LE 2019. Details from Dexcom and Avid, as always, are available in video description. Next up, smart pens. On the 23rd of October, huge player Novo Nordisk has announced two new smart insulin pens, Novo Pen 6 and Novo Pen Eco Plus. Both pens will be launched across key markets in early 2019. As of recording this video, Novo Nordisk hasn't announced which global markets will be first. Both pens will be rolled out to over 50 countries in the coming years and will be rolled out to all countries where Series 5 pens are available as Series 6 will fully replace Series 5 pens. Even more exciting is that Novo Nordisk has already signed agreements with Dexcom, Roche, MySugar, Glyco and even IBM Health. This huge effort has a potential to change multiple daily injection therapy forever. Lastly, Amazon has officially entered diabetes battles field with two blood glucose meters called Choice Wireless and Choice Basics. Both meters are developed and produced by Arcadia Group exclusively for Amazon. Choice is a new series of medical devices such as blood pressure meters. Choice is exclusive to Amazon, but it is not an exclusive private label brand, an Amazon spokesperson told CNBC. As of filming this video, both blood glucose meters are not FDA approved and should not be used to make treatment decisions. And so that's about it. So we've got Freestyle Libre 2, new pens from Novo Nordisk, work to make loop FDA approved, Metronix 670G and Tesla Mix 2 in Canada, $2 million to Beta Bionics, Dexcom G6 and Fort Day Freestyle Libre 1 for Medicare patients and Amazon glucose meters. Not to mention that I was in Berlin for EASD and Kaleido Bloggers event. Wasn't October just crazy when it comes to diabetes technology? And this might not even be it. This month I had to record my diabetes technology report two days earlier than usually because I am off to San Francisco for the Data Exchange Diabetes Innovation Conference. I am so, so, so excited. If you are watching this video within the first four hours of this video going live, then like right, right now, I am on the plane to San Francisco, probably with wet tray full of food that is incredibly difficult to cap count for. So if something happened over the last two or three days in diabetes technology space, then I will cover that in November's diabetes technology report. Now, in case you don't follow me on Instagram, I am in San Francisco because of diabetes is mine patients voice content i will be i can't believe i'm saying this teaching assistant for power of social media workshops it will be led by community powerhouse beyond type one with podcasting queen stacy sims from diabetes connections um stand-up comedy tycoon charlie rice and me from youtube <laughs> but more on that in the future okay Thank you so much for watching. This was your October's Diabetes Technology Report with me, Ned Diabetic. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe here and check my other videos right here.